Hi class, welcome to week one. So the learning objectives for this week or the competencies that we will be covering are developing a plan for obtaining employment, networking with potential employers, developing a professional attitude to be used both in the classroom and the workplace, and organizing a service learning project with your fellow classmates. So some learning activities that you're gonna need to complete this week in order to do your assignments will be to review the Horticopia information folder, which contains information related to last year's event. So this year for your service learning project, you guys are gonna be working on developing an event that's run once at Western. The sustainability department worked with a couple of the clubs and organizations on campus in order to host a one day event that met the Tree USA spe specifications for sustainability to keep our Tree USA status for the campus. This term, all the students in this class are going to take on a different portion of the project and we're going to work collaboratively with one another in order to facilitate. Um, plan and develop the event to be larger than it was last year. Hopefully include more clubs and organizations and bring in more students or community members, faculty to come and enjoy the event and learn more about sustainability. Uh, so I want you to go through and review the information that's in the Horticopia folder. There are 17 different areas related to sustainability from the UN Council uh, that you'll want to look at. You'll find that each one of them interacts with one another. Uh, when we look at sustainability, such as lowering poverty, it's also going to increase our education, make for a greener uh, planet, um, affect climate change, and so forth. So many of the areas interact with one another. So I want you guys to become familiar with sustainability, what sustainability is, uh, what this project could encompass, and then I'm going to let you guys start brainstorming. There are only a few guidelines that have been set for us, and then we can really take it from there and enhance it. Um, so it's going to be great. Uh, other items to complete this week. You need to watch a video on how to network in college, read the article on five things every college student should know about networking, uh, there's another video on networking that you'll need to watch, as well as a video called Networking Even If You Have a Job, which most of you have a job. So how can you connect uh, and network through your job, potentially, um, or other organizations that you're in? Uh, in addition to that, I want you to review the main assignment folder. So when you're underneath the assignment tab, there is a main assignment folder that is where you'll submit your networking uh, professionalism, career fair, uh, type of assignments throughout the term. There are various due dates listed, so I want you to become familiar with those. Uh, they're not set up in a specific folder each week because you can complete them at various different times throughout the term, depending upon which career fair you go to or which professionalism events you go to. So I want those readily available for you guys to submit at any time up until the last possible due date that's listed there. Um, in addition to those learning activities, there are some key assignments this week. The first one is a discussion board. Remember, discussion boards have two due dates in this class. One is Monday and the other one is Friday. So Friday is actually going to come first. So Friday, you need to have your original post done by 11.59 p.m. This week, you're going to work on uh, the first discussion board is an introduction where you're going to introduce yourself, talk about your strengths, maybe your weaknesses, what is your career aspirations, where do you cur currently work, uh, what is a little bit about your background so we can get to know one another. Part two of the discussion board is to tell us what sustainability means to you. Uh, sustainability can mean many things to many different people. Uh, so we want you to tell us what sustainability means to you, what areas of sustainability are of most interest to you and your future career, as well as what do you think will bring in uh, the most clubs, organizations, or students or community members to a sustainability event. So you'll reflect on those things in the discussion board and have some conversation from those. Uh, the next item on the list of assignments to complete is the networking summary. So after you watch all those videos and read the article, you guys are gonna post out on a Padlet 
uh, a brief summary answering the questions, what is networking, why is it key, what are some cr critical steps that you must take, uh, why, what are some tips to help you improve with your networking, how it, why is networking important? Why are we telling you you have to network this semester? Uh, so you're going to reflect on those things. There are a few additional questions listed there, so you'll have to review those under the week one networking assignment. Um, and make sure that you're writing in MLA guidelines. You have in-text citation, potentially a work cited. Uh, and you'll also want to make sure you review the written assignment guidelines for the course. You want to you don't want to lose any points, so you might as well make sure you follow that criteria. Um, and then your final assignment for the week is week 2A two, two assignment, we're going to call it. Uh, it's a service learning research and brainstorming uh, session. So I want you to really look and do some research as to what is service learning? Why are we having you do service learning? Um, one of the college's goals is to have service learning incorporated into every student's educational experience. Uh, our employers, our advisory boards are constantly seeing the value that service learning has on, on a student's education, providing them hands-on learning experience that they can then apply to their future jobs or the workforce. Uh, so I want you to research what is service learning? How may it help you in your future career? What are some ways that we could go about executing this event? How are we going to work on collaborating in an online environment? How are you going to work with 10 other students? Uh, what are some of your areas of interest? Uh, what do you think are some challenges that can occur as a result of an online atmosphere with a service learning project? What do you... What do you hesitant about with the project? What are some of your worries? What are you most excited about? Um, what do you think are realistic expectations for an online group that's going to put together an event? How, how can this work? Uh, I want to know all of those things as we get started here. I do this every semester just to kind of see what the baseline is for every class, where uh, people have fears, what they are have their strengths in. Have you worked with service learning projects before? Um, I just I, I want to get an understanding where you're coming from, what is some of your background, so that we can make sure everyone is on the same page. Uh, I can make some adjustments as needed and we can we can execute and carry out this project. Uh, every semester for the last, okay, so I've been here five years. So for the last five years, we have done some type of service learning project and I am blown away with the amazing um, ideas that students come up with, the way that they execute these events. So I'm really looking forward to see what you guys do with this Horticopia event uh, because it's only run one year at Western so far. So it's something pretty new to Western. Uh, there's only a few guidelines and we really get to take it wherever or however far we can uh, to engage everyone on campus with sustainability. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys brainstorm, uh, what are some of your thought processes. I know some of you have worked in social, social media or you have a background, an extensive background with working in online work environments as well. So those uh, traits or those strengths that you have, we could bring those into the class to really carry this out and execute this project to be something phenomenal. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, so those are the assignments for this week. Let me know if you have any questions as you begin to work on them. Remember, discussion boards are due on Friday and Monday. Everything else is due on Monday at 11.59. Uh, send me an email. I'll try and respond to you as quickly as possible Monday through Friday. I will let you know that weekends are pretty limited. I, I'm a mom of five, actually, so I tend to travel quite a bit on the weekends or we have sports activities. So just be aware that you may not get a quick response on the weekend, but I will get to those on Monday. You guys have a great week and let me know if you have questions.